He was once a leader in waiting, standing patiently behind a man who won three general elections in Britain. But when his moment came in 2007, Gordon Brown as Prime Minister didn't have the PR panache of Tony Blair. A good family. Yeah, good to see you. His abilities were doubted when in office. No more so than when a rogue microphone picked up his real thoughts about a voter. I should never have put me with that, with that woman. Whose idea was that? She's just a sort of bigoted woman. The result was the Labour Party's biggest loss of seats in a UK general election since 1931. Gordon Brown left the political scene quietly, retreating to write books. But he found a roaring voice when Scotland voted on independence from Britain. What kind of message does Scotland send to the world if tomorrow we said we're going to give up on sharing? Sharing a political fervour that was often absent from his days as British Prime Minister. He now focuses on projects involving education and global finance. His latest being a new drive to fund education during emergencies. It's estimated that less than 2% of humanitarian aid currently goes to the funding of education. That 18 million children have had their education disrupted by crises. He says he wants to reach and help more than 13.6 million children over the next five years. As a humanitarian campaigner, this once embattled politician appears to have found his true voice. Francis Collings, The Newsmakers.